Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. Well, I guess we're all invited to Ultimate Team's 15th birthday party today, according to EA, but will it be a birthday party worth celebrating? And what even type of birthday party is this? Because we have no leaks, not a lot of news, and a loading screen with a couple of players on it that looked crazy juiced. Is EA going to bring the juice for this promo today, for the birthday? We got to talk about that today. SBCs, evolutions, there is a league for an Evo. That does look cracked. And also how it's going to all impact the market and everything that went on this game yesterday. We have a lot to discuss today. And we got to start it off by talking about I have coins back again, guys. So if you're excited for foot birthday today, drop the thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let's talk about coins because yesterday we made two videos and the second video was all about me getting coin wiped right wrongfully coin wiped i still do not know what i did wrong guys i was able to get in contact with a higher up fc24 um employee yesterday but i was not able to unfortunately get reasonings as to why i was coin wiped they said that was uh, information that they could not give out which i do understand to one degree but also there's a lot of me that wants that information just to help you guys right and i think that's still what i'm searching for in this situation is clarity on why these bans are happening so much more this year but unfortunately after doing that trying to ask some questions trying to get some conversation going i wasn't able to get too much um and that's just i think kind of where we're gonna have to leave it unfortunately now again all the stuff that we said in yesterday's video i still stand by be careful what you're trading with and it sucks to say that you have to be more careful with that sort of thing like don't buy these cards and sell these cards at a certain price to, to stay out of the way of the bans right but unfortunately that's going to probably have to be the way that it is. Now, for some of you guys that are banned still or coin wiped and you haven't got your coins back from a point earlier on this year, I was told to mention that this player feedback portal beta would be a very good place to share your feedback, positive and negative, probably mostly negative, right around those situations. Um, if you literally did nothing wrong, but you got coins wiped from your account, specifically in this case that we're talking about, um, they said that uh, this portal is actually being taken very, very seriously. So if you provide some serious feedback there, um, it will not fall on deaf ears and it will have a chance to be, I guess, read and implemented potentially, right? I think they're really trying to take some feedback with that. And I've got that page bookmarked because um, if you didn't see the tweet, it's from EAFC Direct Communication um, and it's a link to go.eafc24pf. So that is the, the tweet right there and the link inside of it. And yeah, I'm going to use that. I've got a bookmark so that I can provide some feedback. So yeah, guys, it doesn't sit right with me 100%. I'll be honest. It doesn't sit right with me 100% that I still don't know why I was coin wiped because it was so random and I still feel like I did nothing wrong. I, I know I did nothing wrong. It was the same way that I trade all the time in this game. Uh, but I did get the coins back and it was a lot faster than I thought. So that was nice for sure. And I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get those back. But I'm still, I'm still trying to get more information somehow for you guys that don't have that like I did. Um, like getting your coins back as fast. So yeah, the situation is not great. It's not, it was never going to end great, guys. Let's be completely honest. We were never going to get all the answers probably that we wanted to get. But that is the situation and where it is at right now. Um, yeah, still trying to figure it all out. But... Let's move on from that for right now. We're going to continue to talk about that over the next couple of days for sure. But let's move into yesterday's content before we get into ultimate birthday today. Because that's what we're here for, right? We're here for what's coming out today because it looks pretty hype. But before we do that, let's look at yesterday and talk about a couple things that actually started the day off pretty well on a Thursday uh, with the brand new season. The packs inside of here are average. Um... The other, you know, stadium themes and the TIFOs, I think I'm going to get annoyed by the TIFOs, to be honest, because everybody's going to get to level 21 and 23 and have Tex and uh, Anders Vergang as their TIFOs in game. I'm going to be very annoyed by those, just personally speaking. But uh, all of the players that are released inside of the season look actually kind of nice. Level 10, Hector Bellerin, 5-star weak foot, 2 playstyle pluses. I know that we have Pedro Porto right now, and he's cracked, but that card... Looks solid. Weston McKinney, another USA card in the season. Five-star skills, high, high work rates for him. That's a pretty cracked-looking card as well. He's got Anticipate. He's got Aerial. Very interesting set of play styles. So I'm excited for him. Level 25, you get an 83-20 or an 87-3. I wish this was an 84 times 20 
and an 87.4. I think that would have upped the ante for level 25 just a little bit more. Level 30, there's two versions of Insignia. If you're like, Nate, what's the difference? One has got five-star skills and a four-star weak foot. The other one has got a five-star weak foot and four-star skills. Um, I have a feeling EA did this last year. Remember the Darwin Nunez? We looked at it earlier on this week. There might be more of that coming out this week with like the two different versions of the same player. One with the five-star weak foot, one with the five-star skills. This guy actually could be cracked with five-star skills. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but five-star skills makes the dribbling just feel so much better. He's got technical plus and rapid, very good ball control dribbling play styles for this card. He's going to be pretty nuts in game, especially because how short he is. So watch out for that at level 30. I'm going to take the skills version for sure. Level 35, you get a guaranteed foot birthday pack, which I'm not taking. I'm taking the 85 times 10 for sure. And then level 40 gives us our first icon player pick of the year that does not include base cards. So this will probably be out as an SBC in the next couple of weeks first before you get it here at level 40. But that's cool. There's no choice there. It's just that's what you get. I'm not going to complain about that for sure. Now, also in objectives yesterday, you maybe have seen this Kolo Mani card that's floating around. How do you get to it? And first of all, what is this card? A striker with power shot plus, aerial plus, but also anticipate plus, whipped pass, press proven. This card is all over the place. He's either going to be like really bad or he's going to be cracked. Imagine a striker with anticipate plus, better tackles, but also press proven as a striker. Like, this is going to be a really interesting card, guys. So this objective is also very interesting in the way that you get it done. You have to get level 10, 20, and then 30 and use those players. McKenney, um, Insigne, and Bellerin. Play games with those cards to get yourself unlocked, this Kolomani. So it might be worth doing if you just um, put them in your, your team later on during the season and finish this card off and get the card. You do get some XP as well, 500 XP per station, I guess you could call it, or per... Um, objective and then you also get a pack as well so that's cool that Coldamani card is very interesting uh so honestly a w season but that wasn't even the best part the biggest part of the season yesterday that was updated was division rivals rewards guys these are absolutely insane there are a lot of people who are saying that they are even going to go for go this far to say i am not going to play foot champs just so that i can prioritize rivals first take a look at this option two for the untradeables is always the way to go at this stage of the year unless you really need coins division one reward upgrade for winning seven games two 100ks two 45k packs two rare gold pack four rare gold packs and look at all these packs that is eight packs and then you get an 85 times four two of them and that's an 85 times eight right there and an 87 times two which basically is an 87 times four and then you get your quality points and xp that are those are insane packs that is a lot of packs and a lot of higher rated guaranteed packs for yes it is a higher division but even if you go down here to like where i'm at division four division five is usually where i'm at right you get a two mega packs two prime gold players packs 285 times threes 284 times fours uh that's really good that is very good for division rivals a huge boost there in terms of the rewards you can get and it makes that weekly grind worth it it's gonna be sweaty because people are gonna now be trying to progress towards the top of those um divisions to try to get the best rewards possible but i like that they actually gave us something to play for in rivals which we've been complaining about the entire year to have that we had nothing to play for and we actually had something to play for so i'm not going to complain about that because that is cool i am definitely going to be playing some more rivals in the next week um and seeing how those rewards pay out because those are pretty cracked now let's go to the sbc's really fast our showdown sbc from yesterday is all about bastoni and i know that bajorno just came out and a lot of people did that fantasy fc card and that one is a very good card very good budget uh price card hundred thousand coins that sbc is expired but great at center back he was this Bastoni also has potential to be very good. He's got Anticipate Plus, Slide Tackle Plus, Aerial, good play styles. Even the passing play styles are pretty good. But it's this is honestly a comparison I'm going to draw to the Felix SBC that was out a couple days ago. Felix is very hyped for his play style plus and his body type, right? He's got technical and just the unique body type that he has. Bastoni also has unique body type, and they are very heavily favored to win this game. I know they're playing Napoli. It's not an easy game, but Inter are killing it in the Serie A. They are now out of the Champions League, but they are killing it in the Serie A. And this Bastoni card, if he if they win this game and he goes to a 91, and then you Evo him to a 92, this could be a downright cracked center back card with above 90 physical, 94 defense if you Evo him and like 85 
85 to 86 pace maxed out and 275,000 coins it's a lot more expensive than Labatka for sure if they somehow win this game I mean Labatka's card I don't even think Labatka looks that good he's cheap for a reason his card uh, stats are pretty mid uh, I think I'm rooting for Inter I don't know if I'm going to do this SBC though um but a lot of people are doing it because this could be a really, really cracked card. And his body type and game just makes him pretty OP. So that's just something I wanted to point out for you guys. It is craftable right now if you want to go and get that done. I just, I don't need center backs anymore, man. At least for my club, I'm set. So that's the showdown from yesterday. We also had a player of the month, Verts and marquee matchups dropped yesterday as well. Now, that's enough talking about yesterday and everything else going on. Let's get into today, all right? And we're going to dive straight into it by talking about... The loading screen for Ultimate Birthday that EA updated yesterday, and they showed us two cards. And right now, these are the only two cards that we have seen leaked by Foot Sheriff. It is a five-star, five-star center forward Argentinian with 93 passing and 97 dribbling, and also a 5-5 center forward icon that is Dutch with 91 pace and 86 defending. Guys, it has been leaked that this is Lionel Messi and Rude Hullet. Those are Big name players. Of course, they put the big names on the loading screens, but like, okay, Messi and Hullet? Like, that is wild. I don't think any of us really expected Messi to be in foot birthday. He's never had a foot birthday to before, to my recollection, but that changes today. Leo Messi, these are predicted stats, except for the 93 and the 97. Guys, right away when I saw this, I thought about, why? wait, everybody has team of the year Messi, right? Well, not everybody. You know, the 0.7% rumors and jokes that are going around and the stat that was thrown out by EA... But this is giving me vibes back to FIFA 20, where the foot birthday Mbappe was better in game than the team of the year Mbappe, even though it was um, lesser in stats, right? Plus four shooting, five passing from that foot birthday card. If, ever, if any of you played FIFA 20 and you use this card or you remember this, this card was better because it was five star, five star. And this 98 team of the year was just five star, four star. And at first it was more expensive, right? I feel the same thing could be happening with Messi foot birthday today because a five-star, five-star Messi, if they upgrade his work rates, like if he's high-low, this card is medium-low and he's 5-4 and the, um, the the stats on the loaded screen show 5-5. Five, five. If they move his work rates to like high-low or something like that on this new foot birthday card today, he's going to be expensive. He is going to be expensive. But if they give him high-low work rates and imagine they give him like technical and I don't know, instead of incisive pass, like if they gave him finesse shot plus, this would become one of the most broken cards in the game if he had technical and finesse plus. So it depends on the play styles today and his work rates for this Messi. And of course, the pack weight. He's going to be expensive, guys. He might be 10 million coins just like the team of the year is. He might be five, six, seven mil. He's going to be at least, I think, 7 million coins. Let's be honest. The first day, especially for the top tier promo cards, they're going to be expensive. Don't expect this card to be affordable. But like this could be the type of level of Messi that we're talking about is a Messi that is actually better in-game meta-wise than the team of the year. That's just crazy to think about, but it's possible. After seeing the loading screen, that's what I'm going to talk about today with that. And then if you talk about Rude Hullet, I mean, uh, number one, where's the leaks? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just genuinely curious. A lot of people have been joking that EA had layoffs in the past month, as a lot of big companies have had in the current conditions of the economy, right? We're not talking the ultimate team economy. We're talking real life here. But uh, this Hullet card was leaked, I guess, or like this graphics looks like it was made before the loading screen because he does not have stats that match the loading screen, right? 91 pace, 86 defense, and this was, um, you know, 84 defense, 87 pace. So um, I don't know if there's any more leaks coming today, but it's kind of weird that uh, he had this concept made up with different stats. Anyways, this Hullet boost is insane, guys. 91 pace on Hullet and 86 defense. His best version is the Centurion's card. That's a plus five pace boost and a plus four defensive boost. That is massive and a five-star skill boost as well. I mean, it looks like they're going all out for the top tier cards and the upgrades, which just makes me hope that the rest of the cards released in this promo are juiced as well. Of course, they're all going to have a five-star weak foot or a five-star skill move boost. That is a whole part of this promo. EA confirmed that again yesterday with this video. They said, welcome to a five-star celebration. And they showed... Diogo Jota doing five-star skill moves. He already has a five-star weak foot, right? I think this Jota might be 
our third leaked card that we have right now because again it shows him doing five star skill moves i think that confirms him in the promo it says you know you're invited blah 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 that's the mcgee spin right there um i think it maybe shows him doing like a scoop a ball roll scoop or no that skill move right there right another mcgee spin five star skills elastico five star skills so I think Jota is going to be in the promo as well. I don't know if he is coming out today. I don't know if he's an SBC. I don't know how he releases, but Jota, Messi, and Hullet, that's all that we got. And I am genuinely excited for that because that, again, is a little bit of a surprise factor that we most often don't have on this game for big promos. I just hope that the juices that they give the rest of the cards that are dropped today are also very, very good. Uh, the card design is in the game. They've got ultimate birthday and ultimate birthday icon designs in the game and already loaded in, uh, especially since those cards are already in the season rewards. I just hope that these cards are semi-packable today too. If they're going to make them good, give us a chance at packing them. I know I'm not going to have a chance at packing Messi, but the middle to lower tier cards, I, d I didn't mind the FC fantasy pack weight because you actually felt like you were packing some of those cards. And if they juice most of the team today and the lower tier ones are still packable, we could be in for a pretty good day and a fun day for cards that we actually want to try. Now, let's talk about SBCs because we have no SBCs leaked. But last year, full birthday SBCs were big name players. That's why I shout maybe Jota could be an SBC, guys. Pedri was the first full birthday SBC we had last year. They gave him a five-star weak foot instead of five-star skills, which is why he was downvoted a lot. But then we had the Christopher and Kunku blowing the balloon dynamic image, and this was downvoted heavily because it was lower rated than his path to glory. We all thought EA was going to give us like a 93 in Kunku, and our expectations were not met. But this SBC was still very good. He was 5'5". Five, five. I used him in my team for a long time last year, although he was a bit expensive at like 1.2 mil. Um, they go, they go big for birthday SBCs. I'm hoping that they go big for a birthday SBC today. That is the hope on whoever it is. Guys, we have no leaks. We have no news of who that it's going to be. So right now we're just hoping that it's something good. And I'm at least holding my hopes there. That's what I'm hoping for. Now, objectives, we already have Kolomani. We might have somebody else. So watch out for objectives today. But Evos is the next really interesting place to look at in terms of content today and all positions foot birthday evo is set to come soon players that fit this evolution will receive five star skill moves right that fits perfectly into what this promo is about and the technical play style plus forgive me if i'm wrong this is the first evo of the entire year that gives technical plus i think from the actual evo itself that is crazy can you imagine putting a player into this that fits the criteria and the stats and you get technical plus and five star skills. That is an automatically meta card. That's crazy. And you've already started to see prices go up on the market for cards like this Rodrigo, who evidently must fit the evolution. This guy was what, 40K yesterday? 46,000 coins. He went all the way to 90K where he is right now because he must fit this Evo. They know the requirements, they know the leaks. Can you imagine this card with a stat boost and technical plus? He already has regular technical. But like that combination of skill moves and the stat and the play style plus is automatically meta. This has really, really big potential. And the reason I saw this right away and was like, wow, that's crazy is maybe we haven't had an Evo this crazy since like Pep's legacy during winter wild cards. And remember what happened during winter wild cards, guys, is that a lot of the market crashed because the Evos were free or if they were paid, they were so good that it was worth paying for them. That people were going and doing the evolutions um, instead of buying players off the market for the teams. And those Evos were draining coins. And they were players that people were putting in their teams ahead of their starting 11 players. So it was crashing the market because people were selling cards because the new Evos were so cracked that they were putting those Evo players into their teams. Is that sort of thing going to happen with Foot Birthday? Are we going to go on another kind of trend here? Because there hasn't been in a while like absolutely insane meta evos. There's been decent ones. I know we had the Future Star Academy ones, which were solid. But these would be like next level. If they're going to give out five-star skill moves, technical plus, maybe next week it's finesse plus and five-star weak foot. Don't even let me dream about that. That would be insane. That sort of thing could really change the market. And it could really change the trajectory of the game. And the content would be so hype if that's the case. If we're able to evolve a lot of players. So I'm not trying to get too ahead of myself here. But I'm just saying, is that going to happen during Foot Birthday where the Evos go crazy once again? Because we're kind of due for that sort of thing because it hasn't happened since Winter Wildcard. So if you have somebody like Rodrigo, 
yeah, he could go extinct at 120, but you know, the safe move for sure, if you bought anything that is inflated because of this, like Sobo Sly is up a bunch again. Uh, if you notice that Icon Torres, it's any card, right? Any card fits his Evo. So he's up, he's like doubled in price almost. He was uh, 70,000 coins, not quite double. He's 115,000 coins. Selling the hype for this stuff. I mean, especially since it's so near to max price anyway for a lot of these. And again, once you get to max price, you don't want to be selling there anyway, right? We learned that recently. Uh, we've been talking through that. So make sure to sell on the high for those if you don't want to risk it. But that is that part of the market right there. And that could impact the market even more later on. Now, as we talk about the market in general and go to that side of the conversation today, a lot of prices are down, right? Ramos is a card that I sold for like 550 multiple times during the week. He's down at 470,000 coins. I mean, I'm looking across the market. Remember this Rashford I sold on, what, what day was it? Month? No, I sold Rashford on Wednesday for 1.75, guys. He's 1.4. Down bad, right? Fati is a card that's actually gone back up a little bit, but he's no longer live because they're out of the Europa League. Um, Messi's card is down. I actually listed up my Messi to sell just so I could take the coins on this card, but I do believe this would be a card to watch tonight because Messi's new card is going to be crazy expensive. The people that want to use Messi are not going to be able to afford him. If there's panic on that card today, watch that closely. But uh, yeah, the market is down. There's no, uh, it's obvious, right? There's no arguing that, that a lot of prices are down. We needed the March reset. We needed some of these prices to drop. I'll be completely honest. But the real question is, how low are they going to go? And that really just depends today on how good the SBC content is and how good the prices are for the new Ultimate Birthday cards. Because, you know, if a new promo comes out, especially for a promo like today that is very hyped up and there's a lot of anticipation for, if the prices of the cards are astronomically high, even for like the middle to lower tier cards that should be the most packable ones, if those are very high, that's not going to excite a lot of people and they're going to turn back to the other cards that they were using before. I don't see that happening today i think that the lower tier of this team like it has been recently for promos like remember the fantasy fc promo right a lot of those cards were um packable the lower tier ones like we got tired of packing all the Le melus the pedro poros the orbans but then you also felt like you had a chance at packing matson who was pretty usable for a lower price or you know maybe somebody like not really Declan Rice. There's not really a middle tier card. Gunduan, yeah, 260 for Gunduan. That wasn't bad. Maybe you felt like you actually had a chance of packing Majri or Shalhanoglu, who I was able to pack, right, for decent prices. Or Konate, even. A lot of people packed him. Um, his price is actually down a ton on the market right now because of Bastoni yesterday. He's getting absolutely destroyed. But I think the lower tier, that's how all these promos have been since team of the year. The lower tier cards are the most packable. And if the lower tier cards today are juiced with all of them having two playstyle plus on the cards with boosted stats, that could really make more areas of the market crash. But it's all going to come down to see what those new cards are priced at and how good they are, how accessible they are, right? And how hype they are. Because if they're big name players that People see like, oh, I'm going to go put that guy into my team and replace what I have already in there. That's what's going to cause some panic. But that's just something that we're not going to be able to see until we actually see the promo come out. I've got a decent amount of safe packs for today. We're going to open these, try to pack for birthdays. 85-4, 85-3. I'm opening some of the lower tier packs, like the daily ones, the 81 doubles, just to rinse those back into the club. I saved about 83 times 10s from yesterday. Um, and yeah, we are ready to see what happens today. The exchanges are still out. I believe the player pick is still out as well. Is the 80 plus player pick still here today? Because I know it's going to be here until content. Yeah, this is here through the weekend. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're, we're going to be able to craft all weekend and try to pack foot birthday cards anyway. That adds to the hype, to the menu of this game, and it makes any SBC that gets released today automatically more craftable too. So that's setting us up well for a really good weekend of foot birthday. Now, talking about SBCs once more, let's talk about fodder. Fodder prices are low-ish. Will there be an opportunity to buy this weekend? I think that answer is a yes, but it really depends. I will only buy fodder or tell you guys to really invest in fodder if the SBCs look good. I know there's potentially an icon pick or pack that'll be replacing the Encore icon right this weekend at some point. So I think there's potential for fodder to go up to that but it comes down for the player to the player sbcs to be completely honest for the high rated fodder especially the low tier 85s i'm not buying those 86s those are already inflated for the uh, the encore icon 
84 is two. I would not be buying those ahead of content today. They're going to run lightning rounds. There's going to be a bunch of packs, tradable and untradable. I wouldn't be investing in those. I'm looking at 88s and above for investing in fodder. Like 36, 37K for 90s seems pretty good for like stock one in your club. You can do some of that sort of action right now, but we need to see a player SBC of this sort of value. A million coins plus player SBC that is has a lot of hype to really make some fodder start to go up and then more icon packs and picks to come out after that to make it continually keep rising. So I think there's a, a possible investment, potential opportunity is what I'm trying to say and spit out uh, for fodder this weekend, but we'll just have to wait and see what content comes out first before we really start to invest there. And I think there is going to be supply today. There is going to be promo packs. So we're going to be careful with that. Last thing, last thing to cover is road to the final cards, guys, because there is, I believe it's even potentially happening not too long after this video comes out today. Actually, it might be a little while after that, but uh, the Champions League draw for the next round. Oh my gosh, Gabriel Jesus is so low. 1.71. It just goes to show you that right now, not a lot of people are buying and a lot of people are selling, getting ready for foot birthday. That is so low. But the draw happens today, and so do upgrades, right? Upgrades are going to happen today. Whoever is due a plus one, like Pedri is due a plus one. He's going to go to a 92 rated card. But depending on who they draw today in the draw, prices could be affected by that. Let's say that somebody like, um, I don't know, who's a good example? Let's say Donnarumma and PSG draw Madrid or draw City. Donnarumma is probably going to drop because people are like, oh man, PSG are going to lose. They're playing Madrid. They're playing City. They're going to lose. He's not going to get upgraded and his card's going to drop and people are going to sell ahead of time. Let's say like Dortmund match up against City or Madrid or I don't even know who else would be like a favorite team in this competition, right? Probably those two would be seen as the favorites. Maybe Arsenal as well. You'd think ah, Arsenal, they'd probably beat Dortmund, right? Or most people would think that straight off the bat. Sule could potentially drop based off that. So that's the one thing I would tell you about today to watch out for if you have those cards. But those upgrades should be live today. Boosted and juiced stats for those will be very nice for sure. Now, I'm going to keep collecting my coins here. I'm trying to just take a couple of sales. My Messi, where's my Messi at, bro? Messi should be selling. I love this card, man. Oh, my goodness. He was so good to use. I do not want to sell this card, but I'd rather just have the coins, potentially get him at a little bit of a lower price. What is he right now? 845, 850, 870. And I saw like 10 of these, like one guy has 10 Messi's listed up at 8. Um, well, I think it was 880. So I'm like, you know, there's probably going to be a little more panic on him today for the new card coming. I'm just going to sell that, see if I get him at a lower price, maybe trade with him um, and just take my 800,000 coins there back to the drawing board and see what we can do today on this game. I'm hoping for a good day today, guys. I really am. The 15th birthday for Ultimate Team. Let's hope EA show up and show out one more 84 plus pack to end the video. And I have literally packed nothing except fodder from this promo of the re-release. So I am not mad at all that this re-release is going away and that real new promo cards are coming back in. So if you want to watch today on stream, we'll be opening a bunch of packs. We'll be trading. We'll be looking at all the new content as it comes out. That link is down below in the description, twitch.tv slash the foot account. I will see you guys in the Twitch stream today. Have a great Friday, guys. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you here on this channel for another video tomorrow. It's been Nate the Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace out.